Hello, I'm Chris Conway. Welcome to Organic Acting. This is Successful Screen Tests. This is a selection of my top tips for a screen test. Please stay tuned to the end of the video where I will give you my most important tip for success. So the first one is research. Research the project, so uh, maybe the television show you're going up for. Have you watched some of the episodes? Do you know the characters? Research the director. So what has he or she done before? Um, in what ways does he or she work? The more research you can do, the better you will be prepared. If you can show to the casting director or the director or maybe the producer if they're there that you have done your research, that you're switched on, that's gonna say a lot about you as an actor, as a prepared actor. Also, you might get asked what you've been up to recently, what acting work you've been doing. If you've been in a show, if you've been acting in a film, tell them about that. Tell them about your experiences, all while trying to be as positive as possible. If you haven't been doing anything, tell them about some non-related acting work you've been doing. Try and impart a funny story. Uh, again, trying to be positive. Don't sit there and go, oh, I've been, I haven't been doing any acting work and life's terrible, boo-hoo. Always try to remain positive. And that leads me on to my next tip, relax. Try and be as relaxed and open and friendly as you possibly can be. It's an incredibly nerve-wracking process going for a screen test. But just try to remember, this is what you do or want to do. You're an actor. Uh, try and enjoy the process. Even if it is nerve-wracking, try and just think to yourself, I'm here, I'm doing what an actor does, I'm auditioning, I'm doing a screen test. What could be better than that? The next one is measurements. Now, this is more for commercial auditions than anything else. 90% uh, of the time, you will be asked for your measurements before you even go into audition. So I've been there before where I've been sat in the waiting room, been given a clipboard, and I've got to fill in my hat size, uh, my waist size, my outside leg measurement, inside leg measurement. So the best thing you can do is to have all of that data with you, maybe on your phone, maybe written down somewhere. So as soon as you're given that sheet, you can fill in everything you need to. If you're wondering about what kind of things you exactly need, just imagine you're getting fitted for a suit. So it really is everything, all your measurements. So from the top of your head down to your toes, make sure you know everything. This next one again applies to commercial auditions and some of the weird things they might ask you to do. Uh, I've been in commercial auditions where it's been everything from make an eye line in the corner of the room and smile and that's it. They say thank you and then you leave and I'm in there for five minutes. Or I've had one where I've had to um, try and play football with another actor but instead of a football, we're using a pizza box. Commercial auditions are very weird and wonderful. Just be prepared, um, expect the unexpected. Next one is the frame. So think about the frame that you will be acting in, or more specifically, the frame they will have you in on the camera. Um, most of the time it's going to be a medium close-up, so from around the chest area just above the top of your head. Um, it doesn't hurt to ask them what the frame is, but I would say 90% of the time you are going to be in a medium close-up. If you're in a medium close-up, remember you are limited in the space you've got. So if I'm in this medium close-up shot, anything outside is lost, okay? Keep everything in the frame, mostly your face and your eyes and your expressions. Also, try and keep it naturalistic. We don't need over-the-top theatre acting. Remember, the camera is in a medium close-up, so it's almost as though the person watching is sitting on your lap. So you want to keep it as naturalistic as possible. So this next one is really about putting something unique forward putting a little flavor of your own in there. Think about these casting directors. They are sat in a room while actor after actor after actor come in and read the same lines or selection of lines. 
They, first of all, want you to be good, but they want to see something different. Obviously, try and keep in with the character and the given circumstances, the scene that you are given, but try to put your own uniqueness in there. That's really what they want. If you can do something like that and it fits in with the character, then you're really going to make them notice you. Obviously, don't go over the top. Uh, don't do anything dangerous, but just give something a little spice of your own personality. Now, if things are going well, most likely they'll ask you to read the piece again. And what they will do is give you some form of direction. It is so important, I can't stress this enough, that you listen to what they say and try to take on board the direction they've given you alter your performance. The reason why they do this is to see, first of all, if you can listen, and second, to see if you can be directed, to see if you are flexible in that respect. So always, always, always so important, take the direction and don't just do what you did the first time. And the final tip is eyes up. Keep your eyes up. It's a strange phenomenon when you put an actor in a screen test and perhaps they haven't seen the script before, and that does happen, sometimes you only get the script on the day, that they want to hold on to the script for dear life and keep their eyes on the script so they don't lose their place. That is a no-no. That can really lose you an audition. The best thing about screen tests is they capture your face and your eyes. If your eyes are down, a lot of that is lost. So what I've done is I've taken this really simple, straightforward piece of screenplay. It's a two-hander where one character is asking another character how they got an injury on their face. And what I've done is in this first clip, I've read the script with my off-screen partner and my eyes are staying down on the script. Just take a look. How did you do it? I walked into a door. You're lying. No, really, I did. Okay, which door? Can you keep a secret? Of course. I'm a bit shaken up. I did walk into a door, but I was sort of pushed into it, and he didn't mean to. Please tell me it wasn't Bob. Bob? Good God, no. It was Mr. Smith. Now, you might notice that any fantastic acting I'm doing is lost. It's gone, because my eyes are down. Think about all the fantastic screen actors you know. It's all in their face and in their eyes. If you've got your eyes down the script, it's, it's, it's a waste, such a waste of time. So, how do you combat this? What's the alternative? How do you keep your eyes up while reading the script? Well, first of all, you should keep your eyes up during the other person's lines. So if you have a casting director reading the other part with you, keep your eyes up during their moments and react to what is being said to you. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that acting is reacting. If you watch any kind of film or television, the camera will go to the person, not who is speaking, but who is reacting, who is listening. So in a screen test, react to what is being said to you. Then, when it's time for your line, you can look down and read your piece. But as soon as that's finished and it's someone else is speaking, the eyes come back up. Just take a look at the next clip where I've demonstrated this. How did you do it? I walked into a door. You were lying. No, really, I did. Okay, which door? Can you keep a secret? Of course. I'm a bit shaken up. I did walk into a door, but I was sort of pushed into it and he didn't mean to. Please tell me it wasn't Bob. Bob? Good God, no. It was Mr. Smith. So there you see, I'm reacting to the other person's lines, only dropping my eyes down when I need to, but bringing them back up as quickly as I can. And another bonus tip, if you've only just seen the screenplay, maybe you're waiting in the waiting room for 20 minutes before you go in, take a pencil, go through the script and find 
two, three moments where the other person is speaking where you can give some wonderful reactions just to show that you can react to what the other person is saying. Now, a lot of people who've watched my channel will know that I'm a big fan of Stanislavski. And they will say, well, surely you're just pulling faces. That's not very naturalistic. No, it isn't. But in a screen test, you have only got a limited amount of time to show that you can act in that medium. Remember, especially with screen tests and screen acting, acting is reacting. So going through the script and finding two or three places where you can make these big reactions, it might not be the most naturalistic or Stanislavskian, but who cares? This is what they want to see. Take a look at this next clip as well. This is Hugh Laurie auditioning for the television program House. And watch what he does. It's the same thing that I've just mentioned, keeping his eyes up. Just take a look. I was expecting you in my office 20 minutes ago. Really? That's odd because I had no intention of being in your office 20 minutes ago. Well, you, you think we have nothing to talk about? No, I just can't think of anything I'd be interested in. I sign your paychecks. I have tenure. Don't you gotta grab my cane and stop me from leaving? Well, that would be juvenile, wouldn't it? I can still fire you if you're not doing your job. I'm here from nine to five. But your billions are virtually non-existent. <sighs> Rough year. You have no requests for your consults. I call back. Sometimes I miss Donald. You're six years behind in your obligations to the clinic. You see, I was right. This does not interest me. Six years to have three weeks? You owe me better than four months. It's five o'clock. I'm going home. You know, the only reason I don't fire you is your reputation is still worth something at this hospital. Excellent. We have a point of agreement. You won't fire me. Your reputation won't last long if you don't do your job. All I want is for you to do your job. But as the philosopher Jagger once said, you can't always get what you want. And there you go. He's reacting, he's reacting to the other person off the camera. Yes, he's reading his lines, there's nothing wrong with that. He's dropping his eyes to read his lines, and then his eyes are coming up, and he's reacting. And look at when he's reacting. He's reacting before he speaks. As soon as that person off camera says his line, Hugh Laurie's reacting, then he's dropping his eyes to read his line, then he's speaking. So the number one top tip is to keep your eyes up as much as you can and react. Okay guys, that was successful screen tests. I hope you found something in here that was useful. Um, if you'd like to leave me a comment, uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please, please, please like, subscribe, share this video as much as you can, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.